So the ATF is preemptively enforcing their final rule on frames and receivers and just shut down JSD supply because they have 80 percenters on their website along with other parts. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump into this video, if you think the ATF needs to be abolished, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Also, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI is an accredited online college that helps students learn the skills and techniques they'll need to be successful in the firearms industry. So if you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, SDI might be a good option for you. To find out more about SDI, you can visit the website linked down below. And thank you again, SDI, for sponsoring this video. So like I said in the intro, the ATF just shut down JSD Supply for selling 80 percenters and other parts on their website. News broke yesterday that the ATF served GSD Supply with a cease and desist letter, and as a result, GSD Supply has shut down their website for now. One critical thing that came out of all of this and the cease and desist letter is the fact that the ATF is of the position now that a company who sells 80 percenters and other parts on its website without an FFL is violating the GCA. The ATF claims that if a company sells 80 percenters and various parts on the same website, that is a violation of the GCA. They also claim that it doesn't matter if the company sells the items in a single transaction or in multiple transactions, they consider all that still a violation. If the company simply has all these items available for sale, then it is selling firearms as defined by the GCA according to the ATF. Now the cease and desist letter comes on the heels of the ATF releasing their final rule on frames and receivers about a month ago. Under the new rule, gun stores slash FFL holders now will have to sterilize 80% of kits that they have in their inventory. On top of this, they also have the responsibility of running background checks on individuals who purchase these items after this rule goes into effect. So going forward after the effective date in August, anyone who purchases an 80 percenter kit will have to have a background check run on them and those 80 percenters will need to be serialized because the ATF is actually considering those items to be firearms. Now you heard me say that this rule is not supposed to go into effect until August. That is because the rule is not effective until after 120 days when it hit the federal register. But the ATF through this cease and desist letter is already trying to enforce that new rule on frames and receivers before that 120 days. Also concerning is the position that the ATF is currently taking. They stated that those companies and websites that sell 80 percenters and other parts will actually be regulated as if they are selling firearms. Essentially, the ATF is taking the position that if a company offers for sale parts in 80 percenters, that magically makes that 80 percenter a firearm as defined in the GCA. And therefore, it's unlawful to sell that 80 percenter without an FFL license or without that 80 percenter being serialized in a background check being run on the sale of it. So I want to read to you the cease and desist letter that was given to JSD Supply. This letter states, This letter is in regards to the products sold by your company, JSD Supply, which are generally described on your website as JSD 80% lower receivers, jigs, and gun parts kits. The ATF is aware that JSD Supply is selling and transferring all the components necessary to produce a fully functional firearm to a single customer in one or multiple transactions. The letter goes on to say that the GCA in relevant part defines the term firearm as any weapon which will, is designed to, or may readily be converted to expel a projectile by the action of an explosion or the frame or receiver of any such weapon. ATF has held that kits, which include all components necessary to produce a functioning firearm, including the jig or template used to finish the unfinished frame or receiver, the slide assembly, and the necessary components to complete the frame or receiver are themselves properly classified as a firearm under the GCA. Specifically, these kits are a weapon that may readily be converted to expel a projectile by the action of an explosion. These kits are therefore firearms under the GCA and have always been firearms pursuant to statute. This is and has been true notwithstanding the recently announced regulations and definition under the new ATF final rule. Now, one thing I wanna mention on the last point that was made right there, that is a straight up false statement. The ATF has released multiple letters prior to the new rule, which clarified that 80 percenters and kits were not considered to be firearms and would not be regulated as such under the GCA. It is only now under the new rule that the ATF released that the ATF is taking this new position that these items and these combinations could in fact be considered to be firearms. Even more important is that even in the final rule that the ATF dropped, 
they had to expressly revoke those prior determinations by the ATF on these items, which said that they are not firearms. The letter goes on to say that, accordingly, those engaged in the business of selling these complete kits, as your company does, are in fact engaged in the business of dealing firearms. Further, selling the necessary components to produce a functional firearm to the same person through multiple purchases or structured transactions at different times instead of a single sale is equivalent to selling the complete kit to the customer. That is the complete set of component parts necessary to create a firearm need not be packaged or sold in a single container or a single transaction in order to be considered a firearm. These piecemeal sales circumvent the requirements of the GCA and are unlawful. Another thing that's really funny in that last statement that they made is that they almost admit pretty much that the GCA language in the final rule on frames and receivers does not prohibit what the ATF is actually claiming. The ATF in this letter expressly says the piecemeal sales circumvent the requirement of the GCA, i.e. the GCA's language does not cover this workaround, but we don't care, we're still gonna say it's illegal. And that is very classic ATF. They're gonna just interpret things however they want to get their way. The letter finishes by saying, to lawfully engage in the business of dealing firearms, a person must first obtain an FFL. JSD Supply does not currently possess, nor was it ever issued an FFL that would authorize JSD Supply to engage in the business of dealing firearms. Additionally, JSD Supply does not maintain records as required by the GCA, nor does it subject its customers to undergo NICS background checks, both of which actions are necessary for the lawful sale of firearms. Therefore, JSD Supply must take the following actions. One, cease and desist the sale of firearms without a license. Two, cease and desist the sale of full set of component parts necessary to produce or readily convert into a functioning firearm, whether in a single transaction or in multiple structured transactions. Three, immediately and fully comply with and abide by all laws and regulations governing the sale of firearms, frames and receivers. For public safety reasons, your cooperation in this matter is essential. Now here's the statement you will find on the JSD Supply website. It states, JSD Supply did not get raided. This is a rumor spreading around online that is 100% false. ATF came to our offices and warehouse to serve us a cease and desist letter regarding the selling of certain parts. In an abundance of safety for our staff and customers, we have temporarily pulled the website until we have clear answers from our legal team. Again, we weren't asked to take the website down, nor were we raided. We are still here making the necessary changes to keep bringing you legal quality firearms parts you've come to expect while working to preserve your Second Amendment freedoms. So that is currently where this situation stands. The ATF is preemptively applying the ATF's final rule before the 120 days, and they are taking the position that a company is in the business of selling a firearm if it sells an 80%er kit and other parts to finish a build, and it doesn't matter if the sale takes place during one transaction or multiple. So one thing you can do is please contact your representatives and let them know not only is the ATF's final rule unconstitutional, but also that the ATF is once again playing fast and loose with our rights and interpreting things however they want to fit their own agenda. And again, this is wild stuff. I'll keep you guys updated as we get more information, but I would expect that if the ATF did this against one company, we will likely get news that more companies will be actually issued these cease and desist letters as well. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and this type of two-way news. It also makes all those people really mad who smashed the comment section right now who said, oh, I hate that joke, I hate that joke. It helps to fuel that salt that they feel in their hearts as well. So again, thank you guys for all of your support. I can do none of this without all of you guys. You guys are the reason that people actually hear about my channel. The reason why the YouTube algorithm pushes this channel more is because all of you guys who like, comment, subscribe, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos, you guys are the ones who are directly impacting these videos, impacting this channel and helping me to reach and educate more people than I could ever do on my own. So again, thank you so much. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation we maintain by armed scholars.